Well, hi there. Hi, everyone. We're so glad you're here for this Love Story TV series, Love in Bloom. I'm Jason Ree, LA-based wedding planner and host of the podcast, The Reality. I'm here today with my co-host, Lauren Bercier, CEO and founder of Something Borrowed Blooms. I am so excited to be here. If you aren't familiar, Something Borrowed Blooms is a sustainably focused rent and return wedding flower company specializing in premium silk florals for all occasions. We are changing the way couples plan and pay for wedding flowers by helping them save over 70% in their floral budget. I love everything about that. I'm so excited to learn even more through the series. Okay, everyone, when I say love is in bloom, I mean it. It's coming up like tulips in Holland. We're not only gonna take you through some of the best journeys of love that we could find, but we're also gonna take you outside to some lush venues that made for the perfect natural backdrop. I know, I can't wait to rewatch each film. I love how the couples brought the area's Earth-like beauty into their celebrations. I couldn't agree more. They make me wanna go on a vacay, like not Spring Break 97 style, but somewhere outdoors with fresh air. Speaking of style, do you love my outfit from Fire Tux? I mean, I love everything about your look and I'm totally tagging along on that vacay. <laughs> okay, now let's get into it. Our first couple, Joelle and Brad, took their guests into the woods for their celebration, despite their adorable city-inspired first run-in. So cute, I think they locked eyes for the first time in a yoga class. Aww. That's true love, because my yoga classes aren't pretty. <laughs> anyway, here is Joelle and Brad by Hello Tomorrow Films. Dear Joelle, Ten years ago, you caught me checking you out while you were doing a down dog. <laughs> Clearly, I liked what I saw, and thankfully, you weren't too creeped out. Free training turned into walks, walks turned into coffee dates, and coffee dates turned into, you can be my boyfriend now if you want. <laughs> Little did you know, you were my girlfriend the first time I kissed your forehead. I remember when Brad told me he was going to ask Joe out. And uh, like a good friend, I hiked him up. But if I'm being honest, I thought he was punching above his weight class. <laughs> but lo and behold, Joe said yes. And, uh, and it was good, but it wasn't always blue skies from then on. Some of you may not know this, but when Joe was a free agent, Brad wasn't the only person trying to go after it. I saw a man who had fallen in love overnight with someone who, quite frankly, had her choice in suitors. But Brad was convinced that this was it. This was the one. This was his Super Bowl. And he wasn't going to sit back and watch somebody else win it. I watched Brad lay it all on the line and, and fall in love. And eventually, I, I watched Joe fall in love with him. James, you came to me at a time when I wasn't looking for anyone. At a time that I was really lost and you were exactly what I needed. Ever since then, I fell in love with every part of you. I fell in love with your heart, I fell in love with your mind, and I fell in love with your soul. When you love, you love really, really big. You truly bring a new level to wearing a heart on your sleeve. Every single thing you eat is the best thing you've ever tasted. Every song you hear is Grammy worthy. And Tom Brady is the most perfect specimen you've ever seen. I love to tease you about that all the time, but the really great thing about this is I'm no exception to this big, no holds barred kind of love. You are the funniest person I have ever met. I love that you still make me blush with a well-placed, inappropriate joke. But what I love the most about you, the very essence of who you are, is your soul. Hanging out with you and your grandma while you sit in silence and sign to each other makes my heart happy. Every 
every day you remind me that I'm strong, that I'm beautiful, and that you are so happy to be my partner. Every day I ask you how much you love me, <laughs> and the answer is always the same, and you just signed it to me, kind of. <laughs> It never changes. Every day it's more than you'll ever know. I don't ask because I need reassurance. I ask because of the light in your eyes when you answer. How lucky am I? You look at me in a way that I think most people dream of being looked at. Hi. You look so beautiful. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I love this dress, babe. Ooh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Ready to do this? Yes. Okay. I'm ready to do this. Now we can party. Like I said, when you love, you love big. Brad, I promise to love you just as hard back. I promise that my freezing feet will cool you down when you're overheated. And I promise to only touch you with those freezing feet in the pre-approved areas, like that cute butt of yours. Brad, I can't wait to start this next chapter of our lives together, to explore, to grow, to laugh every day, to have a family, to dance in our living room and to keep loving each other in that big, dramatic way that people pray for. What to believe in When I walk the wrong way The future that you see Before this moment, I couldn't imagine a world where I was more in love with you than I already am. But leave it to you to surprise me one more time. I love you and always will until my very last breath. Life isn't perfect. I've been taught that over and over again, but what I do know is that you give me hope and you give me love and you prove that it conquers all. And you give this little turbo human a place to breathe. All I have to do is look at you and all is right again. You are my home. I love you. Okay, I'm still meditating in the woods. That area looked magical. Like when he first looked at her next to that babbling brook, so picture perfect. I know, and they had such adorable things to say to each other. How often do you have to hide in a corner with a box of tissues at your wedding? All the freaking time. But you know what I say? I say lean into the emotions and then just do a little dab after. I mean, you've mastered it. I love it. Next up is Connor and Taylor. I do have to brag, they're a special Something Board Blooms couple. I mean, of course they are. They're filled with that Southern charm of yours. Let's watch this sweet couple get married, Connor and Taylor by 169 Films. Taylor. Over the course of the last four years, I've gotten to spend two of them as your friend, one of them as your best friend, seven months of them as your boyfriend, and six months as your fiance. 
if there's anything I've learned from these last four years, it's that I want to spend the rest of my years on this earth as your husband. You have been my best friend, my comforter, my home, and today you will become my husband. Through all the distance and the waiting, we have chosen each other and have fought for each other every single day. And today, I stand here in front of all of our loved ones promising that not a day will go by where I do not choose you. Come beside the storm In the way you're meant to I couldn't say for sure wouldn't ask for more in you You radiate the joy of Christ like no one else. You have a smile and energy that can light up a whole room. And you always love others without any hesitation. But for me, it's even deeper. Since we've been together, you've been the greatest source of motivation and encouragement to grow as a godly man and spiritual leader. As I stand here today, knowing you, and thinking of the shared life that we have in store, I am reminded of God's faithfulness to me. I pray that we will continue to remain faithful to God, growing in love and pursuing Him together. Today, and the rest of our days, I will choose to spend this beautiful and messy adventure with you. My whole heart belongs to you, and there is no one else that I could more joyfully say that to. I promise to always put you first, and I promise to always make you feel loved, understood, and a part of the team for the rest of your life. I love you, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of our lives together. But anyway, what I say about Connor is the real deal. All our family absolutely loves him. We're so grateful to God. We believe this is ordained. We believe that his mom and dad prayed for her for 25 years and the prayers were answered and we couldn't be more grateful. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad that you came into Connor's life. And I'm thankful that I finally have a sister. That is so awesome. So today kind of hits different for me. It's it's very significant. It's it's more than a marriage. I am handing over this person that has been mine, my best friend, my everything, my whole life, and I'm handing her over.
I need to know every detail about those flowers. Who, what, when, where, all the deets, they are everything. Well, thanks. I mean, how much time do we have? But no, seriously, to answer your question, we are so proud to offer collections that can fit any style of wedding and almost any budget. And they're available in all locations across the country. I pull inspiration from so many places, like the next wedding, for example, Nolan and Alexis embody a very boho style. And while they opted for live florals, we could certainly achieve this look with our Nina collection. Such a great platform you've created. Versatile, eco-conscious, budget-friendly. I'm looking forward to seeing more Something Bar Bloom weddings like right now. <laughs> well, thank you. But first, you have to see this stunning national park that Nolan and Alexis got married in. It will blow you away. Their love for each other seems to be equally matched. Here are Nolan and Alexis by Tim and Krista Films. Nolan Lewis Street. Everyone asked me if I was nervous about the day, but since our first trip backpacking, I've never been more sure about anything in my life. You make me feel beautiful in my own skin, and I'm most confident when I'm with you. You are my best friend in the world. I feel like you know my soul. You are the easiest person to talk to. I can't wait to travel the world with you and leave our mark of our love everywhere we go. Caitlin Alexis Roach, you've taught me a lot about love, that love isn't easy. Loving you definitely isn't easy. <laughs> you've also taught me that love is unconditional. I vow to make our lives unconditionally extraordinary. Today, however, is pretty ordinary because you were late. <laughs> but you are extraordinary and I will love you with these vows for the rest of our days. I promise to choose you every day, to find a song for every trip we go on, to give you a bite of every meal if you give me a bite of yours, to rewatch every Star Wars movie with you, to never bring a bird home without you knowing. Most importantly, I promise to give you my best self and to ask of you no more than you can give. I vow to be your solid rock amidst your hurricane of a life. I vow to remind you of your beauty when you aren't happy with your self-image. I vow to support and encourage you in moments when you don't believe in yourself. I vow to hold you and comfort you when sadness seems to creep in. I vow to let you be your true self, wild and untamed. I promise to love you in good times and in bad. With all I have, I promise to always remind you I love you more than anything and you remind everything. I vow to be your home and your safe place. Our love will twist and turn, but will always be. Thank you for teaching me how to love again. 
I mean, your jaw is wide open. <laughs> what do you think? I changed my mind. Let's go to a national park for the big day. <laughs> I told you it was as though that location was made for them. So true. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Join us next episode. We'll have more love, more romance, and of course, more wedding tips and tricks and a special feature segment by yours truly, Lauren Bercier. Bye.